Larry, he works here in the apartment complex. He's the head of maintenance, so he comes home all the time, checks on me. Anyhow, um, in the last video, video I made when I showed you my coffee, and it sounded like it said that I have my meth in my coffee. No, that's usually, that's usually how I do it, or smoke it, but what I, it sounded like I said I had it, but no, this is just regular coffee. This is coffee. There's no methamphetamine in it. I do not have any methamphetamine in it. I've got about a week or so clean. I'm not even keeping track of the days. They're blending into each other. Oh man, I'm got like the anxiety, the feeling, you know, and then the temptation of, you know, like, okay, like Jones and so bad, and then needing my dope and going and taking that diamond that I've given to Laura, that I'm giving to Laura, you know, that diamond that was tucked beneath a picture that somebody had given me. These magical artifacts are coming to me by strangers. It's very strange the way that they're coming to me out of blue. Um, well, this one was given to me by, um, well, not a stranger, but I'm not saying who she is. Um, but this is very magical. Um, it's a decoded, it's a gateways, basically, to all dimensions in the universe, okay? And Chance, Laura's son, when Anashiana broke off that little piece uh, that I'm sending to Brett Sturgis because Chance didn't want him anymore after he went through the mystical experience, plus I might have freaked him out a little bit with my, with my, um, you know, how I am, you know, thinking, you know, anyway, I think I freaked him out, and that might be why he gave it back to me, but that's the one that I'm sending to Brett Sturgis, who has been somebody I've never met, but he's one of my online YouTube viewers who have helped me a lot, and um, so that stone's going to him by Christmas, I'm not saying when I'm going to send it, because I don't want nobody stealing it, I've mail or anybody trying to get it, but definitely, Brett, you'll have it by Christmas, bless your little heart, um, but this chance when he, after this little piece of the stone, you know, and asked how that little one broke up, um, and then it told him the name of the stone, which I can't remember, and then I then gave him the name of this, and he wrote this on the back of my picture. He wrote that, except I wrote the last S. He wrote G-O-D-D-I-S-S, -S, and I wrote one more S on it. So the last S is me. <laughs> but he wrote the rest. But it turns out that the stone that Nashiash broke up, that he found and he had for like three hours before, right the night I moved in, um, the day before Thanksgiving, the night, you know, um, the stone had, he went into this multidimensional mystical experience where he knew he was vibrating on a higher frequency and it turns out that that stone broke off for him to find on purpose for him to be able to name my picture because I've been trying to find a name and could not figure out the name. And then he wrote this on the back. He knew the name. He said, this is the goddess of truth. And that activated somehow um, this being able to decode the information here, unlock, to unlock all the dimensions um, in the universe and all the different doorways and gateways and dimensions all are unlocked now because of the name that he put on the bat and with the Nashiana in front of him and then to me psychically is like um, allowing me to absorb and soon be able to comprehend and know the decoded information so decoding that's what's happening here and the Nashiana decodes through the picture but the picture could not be on none of the gateways or doorways could be unlocked until after the name had gotten on the back, after the, her name was known, and Chance, 
he, Laura's son, who's 15, he, after Anastasia broke up, Anastasia broke out that little stone, he knew the name of this, and he, he was like a different person, he was just like so knowing, and so, it was like he was vibrating on like such a high frequency that I, I wanted to kneel down on my knees and wash his feet, <laughs> you know, to, or something, just, you know, to, uh, just like, oh my god, you know, I was so humbled, humbled by the presence, the energy that had taken over him, and then he went back to being a little boy again after he named my picture, um, but he's still definitely, there's no doubt in my mind that he is definitely a prince, one of the potential, potential earth kings or earth fathers. An earth king and an earth father is not the same thing. Um, so far, there are none. I have none. None yet that have come forward to claim their, accept their crown. Um, an earth father and an earth king are different things. Um, Hopefully you will all be Earth Fathers. The Earth King, of course, will be Earth Father too, but they will be the ones that will be able to wield the magic of the world and the Earth and the ocean and the universe and the sun and the moon and the stars and the planets in order to have those magical abilities in order to take care of the rest of the world. And everybody in the world will um, receive their own magical abilities or the, their own magical abilities will be activated and everybody according to you and what you have done in your deeds, your heart. Like in Ashiana, they hear the, the whales and the dolphins, they hear the words, but that's not how they receive the information. They receive the information through the vibration, the emotion, the feeling behind it. Okay, um, and I feel like I'm going to throw up. Oh God. <laughs> Dizzy, headache, anxiety, irritability, um, jonesing, <laughs> you know. And then I guess the test will be whether I'll, I'll jones so bad that I'll end up selling that diamond myself to get dope and get out of my own, or I'll sell a Nashiana. You know, I could buy a lifetime's worth it, but I'm not going to. I'm not, I will not, I will not ever do that, I swear. I know in my heart I won't, but don't think it hasn't, like, tried to cross my mind more than once. <laughs> Thinking, well, I, you know, I could get out of Larry's, I could take care of myself, I could get a car, I could get my teeth fixed, and, um, I could buy dope, but I, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay put, give Laura, actually, I, as soon as I make this video, I'm going to wrap her diamond up for her and put it in a little gift package and give it to her mother-in-law. I don't like saying her ex-mother-in-law, but, um, Chance's grandma, um, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna, like, as soon as I make this video finish, I'm gonna wrap it up and go over there and give it to her, to give to Laura, um, it's, she's buried right now, the diamond that was tucked in a piece of black electrical tape underneath a picture that somebody gave me, I opened it up and it was a diamond, but this is in the dirt here, oh, look at, I painted her, so she look, my lady lion, she's, I'm still not finished, but I've started. But anyhow, she is a, the, the diamond is in here. Um, uh, and Brett Sergis, his stone, the little Anashiana, is in here too. And I, I, last time I said purifying them, but what I meant was charging them, not purifying, charging them. Because everything that goes through Anashiana is purified. Nothing evil or bad can get in. And no evil or demonic entities can get in her or through her or manipulate her. Um. Okay, um, I think I gotta go throw up. <laughs> uh.